Mother's Day is coming up and we all have a mom, but some of us dread Mother's Day. Is that you? Hi, I'm Tammy with Family of Purpose and I'm here to talk to you about something that is special to all of us and we all have one, our moms. Moms are wonderful. They give us life and they give us birth. However, some of us may not have the best situation with our moms and others of us may have lost our moms to death and some of us have fantastic moms and relationships with our moms. If you are in the latter and have a great relationship with your mom, celebrate her today and every day. The best way to celebrate her is to speak her love language. There are five of them if you don't know. One is acts of service, physical touch, words of affirmation, quality time, and gifts. So if you don't know your mom's love language, think about how they love you the most, and that will probably give you some insight in their love language. For instance, mine is acts of service and quality time. So my family could wash my car, vacuum the uh, garage out, do some yard work. Those are all ideas for acts of service. And quality time would be go on a hike with me or play my favorite game of dominoes. You get the picture. However, a lot of us, and we don't like to talk about this, have moms that are either passed away and in heaven or don't have good relationships with their mom. What do we do with that? Well, that's a hard one because Mother's Day can be the most painful and the most promising loving day of the year. I have a couple suggestions. If your mom is in heaven and has passed away, acknowledge her. Everyone knows it. Everyone misses her. Acknowledge the elephant in the room. Have a special time when you're talking about memories to bring her up. Share fun things that you love about her, things that you miss. Give her the memorial that she deserves because she's your mom. Maybe even go visit her gravesite if that's possible. Or get the whole family together and just chat about your mom. What a great way to remember her. If your mom has not been the best mom, I am sincerely sorry to hear that. However, she is still your mom and she deserves some respect. So whether that's a phone call or a warm text or something small that will do wonders to her life and to her heart. Remember, you are the one that is responsible for your actions, not your mom's. Another thing that I really want to touch on for Mother's Day that is maybe even the most painful are those moms or women, excuse me, that are not moms yet that want to be moms. I sympathize with you. All I wanted to do when I grew up was, was to be a mom. And I have been blessed with two great kids and one in heaven because we miscarried. I want to tell you something that hopefully will encourage you. Growing up, I thought the highest calling to, of a woman is to be a mom. I was wrong. I want to encourage you that your perspective maybe needs to be shifted. Your highest calling as a woman is to be a daughter of the king, to have a relationship with Jesus. Once you have that in line, then your desires becomes God's desires and God's desires become your desires. So maybe this Mother's Day with all the pain of really wanting to be a mom and seeing all your friends and family and people that are older and younger than you already a mom, but you are not for whatever reason, be sure to remember that that is not your highest calling. It is a calling and it is a holy one, but your highest calling is your relationship with Jesus. So make sure that's in touch and go to him for strength during this day and go to him and lean deep in him and then celebrate the moms around you the best that you can. So this Mother's Day, no matter what your emotion is around this day, make it the best that you can be and understand that everyone has a mom and we try to love them the best that you can. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. We have new content every week, and we really want you to grow and thrive as a family and to love your moms well. Happy Mother's Day.